Hello, you lovely lot, and welcome. Episode 5, Dan here. Hope you're all well. Hope you enjoyed the last episode. Um, it was a little bit little bit different to the rest of the series. There weren't really any mine colony stuff, but it was on the same server, so, you know, it is what it is. But today, I did tease you a little bit last time with the old house. It's still not quite 100% there. I've got to do a little bit, little bit more to it, but I got it to a point where... I was happy to actually show it off this time. I want to give you a quick quick little rundown of the new house and then we are going to do some mine colony stuff today. My plan is to get our colonists fed. So last episode we started putting them to use. We got our lumber, our lumber, our forester and our miner sorted out. Eventually Jordan took his sweet time setting up that mine. Um, I've actually not been over there since. They've probably been doing a bit of work in the background. I did as well. Uh, unfortunately, we had a loss. I can't remember who we lost. It weren't one of the workers. It was one of the other ladies. Um, yeah, I'm quite useless, to be fair. I'm not going to lie. But anyway, no, no one cares about that at the moment. We haven't got too attached to them. Jordan, all right, we've been a bit attached to. It weren't, it weren't Jordan. It weren't the Forester. And it weren't the miner, it was the the other one. The one the other one. Yeah, the one that didn't have a, a title. But anyway, today Today we are gonna work on feeding our colonists. And it's actually just dawned on me. My plan was to build a farm and build a restaurant. The farm obviously produces the food. The food gets moved to the restaurant. The restaurant is where everyone goes when they get hungry, and that's where they fill their bellies. But but that would involve having two more people to work for me. And do you know what? We only have one. We only actually have one spare person. So looking down at my list, I'm thinking maybe, maybe we get the farm built because then we've got our food, we've got our wood, we've got our stone coming in. And then I'm thinking we go for the tavern, which will then give our citizens some beds and it should start allowing us to uh, to get some more more colon colonists sorry I have an itchy ear hole and I am itching it and I didn't cut that out so <laughs> yeah that's that but the house <clears throat> excuse me the house the house the house basically all I've done is I took the front and I brought it out to the front of the old porch rebuilt it the same as it was other than this nice little balcony here which we'll go up and have a look at and then i rebuilt the porch so if we come around the side here i basically copied that there and put it here exactly the same same roof i've done some little jiggery pokery up there made it look all nice we don't need to go up there and have a look you can uh, i'm sure you can trust me on that let's go around the other side as well and let's ooh, get our elytra on the go yeah, so this here, this big old chimney stack was part of the the little forge area out the front. So I kept that there and then I sort of built around it. Um, I think it looks all right. It looks pretty good. It might not make sense once we get indoors, but I'll let you be the judge of that. And then uh, you can shout at me at the co in the comments. So yeah, we've got this nice little porch area. And inside, yeah, so this is the old forge that was here before. I haven't moved that. I've moved the anvil and the cork cauldron cauldron the big thing full of water i have moved um so we got the same sort of idea you know you stand here you poke your sword in burn the end give it a whack give it a dip or do you dip it first no, no you whack it first and then you dip it you dip whack dip and then you're all set oh welcome back i no no she said she was back and then she weren't back she was lying so yeah i've had a little tidy up down here uh, it was getting a little bit cramped. Obviously, the wall was sort of here and it was nice and squashed. So I've had a bit of a tidy up. We've moved some bits around. I made a nice new little table under the window. I'm going to put some flowers out there. They might look nice. Build a little window box. Um, I've had to change some of the dirt and stuff around here as well. You can hear the nether portal, but it's not here. It's not invisible. I've moved it. We will go and have a look at that as well. Uh, so... Yeah, let's go downstairs and I'll show you that. So, new basement, which is lovely and big. We've got lots of storage here. So we've got the stone wall, 
the dirt and sand wall and the nothing wall. I've got I've got room for expansion. We've got room for other things, and then we've got the wood wall. So yeah, it's all looking nice and tidy, nice and organised. We've got some extra chests here, you know, just for the other bits that I don't think warrant their own drawer. Uh, same again the other side. Loads of lovely. Look at this coloured sand, pink and purple. We've got some white and black from the Never as well. And then over the back here, this is sort of all the extra stuff. So we've got some bits here from from mine colonies. You know the decorative stuff, the mob drops. Uh, you saw this one last time. That's me, me enchanted stuff. Do you know what? I've actually yet to use this. Beetles give me this, and I'm I'm too afraid to use it. I will though, because I need a whole bunch of stone. So the silk touch there are going to come in handy. And I'm actually in the middle. Yep, she's on her way now. Beetle has actually messaged me saying she's got another little present for me. She spoils me. But while we're waiting for her to come on, we will hook up with her and go and see her. But I do have the stuff ready for this episode. So what did I say we were going to do? The tavern and the farm. So these are here ready and waiting for us. And do you know what? I didn't want to grab any of that. Ah, sorry. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. So we're going to start with the farm then, I think. We've got the farm block and we've also got these field blocks, which if I'm right, you poke them down. They sort of assign an area to be farmed. And then the farmer will... Uh, oh, no. Okay, that's... Yep. Don't, don't click things with that in your hand. Yeah, the farmer will then acknowledge that field block and uh, go to work, hopefully. Hopefully, he says. So, what seeds, Ben or Cyan, either of you selling mending books? No. Afraid not. Afraid not. And there is the one and only Beetlejuice. So, let me just grab a couple of seeds. I'm trying to think here. What do I want my farmers farming? I wonder whether to keep it simple and we just go with the wheat for now and we can have bread. Or actually, I'll tell you what we could do. We could do some potatoes. Potatoes, potatoes, purely because then when we set up the restaurant, at least whoever's working there has got something to uh, to cook up. So I've got all of that ready. Let's quickly run over. We can at least run over and we can mark it. Lovely new trees, by the way. Omi uh, has been using these leaves. They actually glow. She's been using them in her in her colony. And she invited me over to have a little look at her bush. And uh, I liked it. She uh, she then took us to the biome, which was near hers. And we, I chopped down a few trees. Well, Beetle chopped down a few trees for me, actually. She's got a, a nice chainsaw, so she can chop them down in one hit. I mean, these are massive. These aren't like the ones that I chopped down, to be fair. They look quite different, but I like it. I'm just hoping that my placement of them isn't going to clash with anything else, but... We'll find out, won't we? So I think over here, yes, this is where I was going to put the farm. So let's have a look. Let's grab our build tool. And we're going to want our resource scroll and our clipboard. Let's actually uh, see what's going on. I bet they're all, they're all screaming at me because they're hungry. No, we've just got to pick up. I'll tell you what. Uh, no, yeah, let's let's place this down first. And then I want to go and see what, what they've been up to. Okay, so farmer, yes. Medieval dark oak, yes. Level five, please, because I want to see what it looks like when it's finished. And you can see here that I've already sort of marked out my area. I th think that might be the one. Let's just have a little... Where are my blocks? I can't see my blocks. They're underneath somewhere. Let's move it back and over. There they are. I see them. I see them. Panic over. Boom, there we go. That's that. And I'm pretty sure this is the front. Let me have a look at the other side because there's actually a door both sides. Now I'm not sure. Got a nice little set of stairs there and some ladders going up. Let's just have a look at the back. Got a table here. Let's just lower it a minute. A little bit. Let's lower it once more. Where's the block going to be? The block's going to be there. Okay, we've got... I mean, this kind of looks front-like. Let's just go down the levels. Hold on. Really? Is, what? Is that a farm, is it? Well, I, su I suppose it is. That's now making me think that that's the front. 
Okay, let's do a little quick rotation. Completely throw it out because for some reason it doesn't like to rotate in the same space. We'll line that back up and let's commit. Let's do it. Medieval Dark Hope. Yeah, boom. Done. We got the ding. It's in place. Uh, is Beagle talking to me? Nope. She is dealing with uh, T. Washington at the moment. I am going to get this in place. We'll go over and have a look over there. And then we'll uh, we'll do a little cut. Right, yep. Yeah, let me... Let's go over and have a look over here. And then what I'm going to do is just make a cut. We'll go over and see Beetle. And then we will come back and build that. So let's see. Let's have a look. How is... I've forgotten their names. It's been so long. Hello, Grace. I didn't forget your name. I was only joking. How are we doing, Grace? She serves with pleasure. Okay, so she's still doing good on food. I think I think what's been happening is my house is so far away that the area is not actually loaded, which is kind of a double-edged sword. It's good because it means that they're not dying and starving, but it's bad because if I look in here and we look at the inventory. Oh, no, look at that. She's, she's doing all right. Look at all this. I don't know where that extra food to come from. Is that what I've done? Maybe. But that's not bad at all. What have we got? We've got over three stacks of the dark oak. And she should have stopped now with the jacarandas. Uh, yes. On my way, Beetle. Okay, maybe I won't be doing a cut. Let's quickly have a look at the mine. And then we'll go over and see her. I don't like to keep her waiting. Let's, uh... How's he doing? Let's poke her head down and have a look in the hole. Yeah, see, he hasn't, he hasn't made much progress at all since last episode. As I say, just because the area hasn't been loaded. But, as I do more and more things around here, that will change. And let's have a look. Inventory. Has he got gold from? You... He's not at gold level already. I think he's cheated that in. Hold on. Inventory. I don't believe that he's getting gold ore neither from a wooden pickaxe, but I'll take it. I will take it from... Hold on. Is it Gavin? It's Gavin. Of course it is. It's Gavin and it's Grace. Gavin and Grace. Right. Who's panicking? Is that me panicking? I'm not panicking. I'm not panicking. Oh, is it Ben that's panicking? Did I miss saying? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> right. I'll make a quick chop here. And I'll meet you guys with Beat, with Beetle over at Spawn. Beetle. I'm saying Beetle, hello. Like, I've got you on voice chat. No! I thought she was going to come and take my legs off. Is that, is that for me? Is that? No way. Oh. Oh, Beetle. Look at that. A buzzsaw. This is full of biodiesel. The saw blade status is at 100% as well. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, what? What? I don't even want to think what's gone into that. Oh. Okay, I'm going to tell her to say hi. Say hi to, I'm guessing there's probably three of you watching this. <laughs> to my three viewers. Hold on, who would they be? Who would they be? Callie, you got to be watching this, mate. You've been watching all my videos so far. You're an absolute legend. <laughs> Ursie says hi as well. Callie will be watching. I reckon Omi's watching. Omi's, Omi's been supporting me well. M maybe... Maybe Emma, maybe Beetle, is she checking it out? Okay, right, I'm going to bin her off. Let's, let's show some gratitude first. I reckon she's done this, so now I can buy diesel off her. Yeah, clever. Everyone does need one. 
Let's see, let's see if I've got a bang to rights now. I've sussed her, haven't I? Yeah. <laughs> Knew it. Knew it. Busted. Yes. What an absolute legend. I tell you what, let's... We all want to know what this does. Do I want to chop this tree? Let's find one that I do actually want to chop down. So a lot of these are sort of on the paths. Maybe this one, because it's going to be... A, these are marked out for houses, by the way. I've got, I've got a little bit ahead of myself here, but that's a future episode. But this will end up being in the way, so let's have a look. Whoa! Oh, that's amazing. And what did it do? 99%. Oh, we barely touched it. That's like 100 trees. Okay, I think Grace might be out of a job here. Can I give this to Grace? Can you imagine? How amazing would that be? I think I'd need to maybe get her a ticket for it, do a bit of training. Hold on, what are you two? What are you two got squigglies for? She's hungry. They're both hungry, aren't they? Uh, okay, you can have a couple of apples. I don't know why you're not eating them eggs. Fantastic bit of protein there. He hasn't slept... He hasn't had a house for over two weeks. I'm sorry, we're getting there. He's apparently working as well, but I don't believe that. Don't eat the rotten flesh. Please don't. Let's take some of them. And we're going to give them... So this here, Isabel, is our new colonist. Are you still hungry? She had both of them apples. Very greedy, Isabel. You've only just got here. We've barely barely been introduced, and you're, you're wolfing all of my food down. Right, okay. Back to the farm. Let's set... No, not back to the farm. At all. Let's have a quick potato myself, a quick jackpot, and actually let's let's eat some of these yummy beetle golden carrots. And let's get this set up. So I need to assign Jordan. I'm being a complete newbie. Oh, and also, in case you're wondering what these are, I haven't actually mentioned these yet. These are gonna be where my paths go. So I'm already thinking about the paths. I will probably more than likely do that on a live stream, but we'll see. I've got a little plan as well for how I want to record it. Uh, but yeah, that's that's something later on. So build options, build up. Jordan, thank you. Let's build the building. Build request created. Now he's probably going to run over to his little hut. Let's run over with him. I'll give him a race. He's had head start. Oh no, look, I can see him. He's already going. He's already on his way, even with my never armor, not never, ender armor, no, he's beat me, he's done me. Ah, look, he done me. Okay, I'll race you back though. Hold on, Jordan, hold on, Jordan. Hold on a minute. He's, oh, it's because he heard me. Right, hold on, let's see. We need to go into here. Let's add all the bits. Hey, Bell, we got it all. We got it all, because that's how organized I am today. And let's go back. Now what's he going to do? Did, I don't think he needs to clear the area. I cleared it for him, didn't I? Am I wrong? Yeah, look. Come on, Jordan. What are you doing? What are you doing, Jordan? You're, you're going to get here and realise... Oh, it's ready. Let's go back. Hold on. What was that? I think there's... I think there's something underground. I thought I'd got my buzzsaw out then, that growly noise. Right, so what's he digging then? Let's have a look. Okay, he's having a dig. I'll tell you what then. Let's jump up on the scaffolding. And let's get set up. Oh, he's flying this time. Okay, this will be a super quick one. Let's go, Jordan. Right then, so that one was lovely and quick, wasn't it, Jordan? That was much better. We're, we're redeeming ourselves here, which is good. Um, he did derp out a little bit at the end. For some reason, he just got stuck looking at it, admiring his work. And I was about to check if he needed something, but the fireworks went off with my menu open. So we didn't get to see the fireworks. 
But nonetheless, he's going to go have a little... Well, he's not going to go have a sleep, actually. He's going to go stand at the town hall wishing he had a bed. I don't think anyone's... Is anyone wanting us to stay up? No. So let's, let's get the night passed and we can get to work on the tavern. Actually, no, tell a light. First things first, let's get someone working. I'm getting ahead of myself. So, let me see here. Let's click this. Let's go manage workers. And apparently I can only have Isabel. Okay, we'll hire her anyway. What has happened? Hold on a minute. Because we've got another guy over here. And I've got that weird graphical thing. Look at that. That's weird, isn't it? Let's quickly sort that one out. There we go. If you don't know how to do that, by the way, it's F3 and A. It reloads your uh, your chunks for you. Right, hold on. I oh, know that's all four, isn't it? Of course it is. So, Isabel, are you going to go to work? Oh, she's changed her clothes. Look, she's got a little farmer's outfit on. A little... I don't know what this is. Maybe we need to set up these farms before she can work. Not the farms, the fields. So we're going to set these up behind because if I'm... Yeah, so look at this. What we've done here is we've actually expanded the area. And I can hear... Oh, hello. Hello, there's a cave down there. And i tell you what, them bones rattling remind me. When we go back, I've got something to show you. But what we can do, thanks to our amazing friend Beetle... I'm hoping that's not ridiculously loud. It sounds really loud in my ears. It might just be my headphones. Let's uh, let's just turn that down a little bit, just in case. I don't want to pop anyone's ears. Mr. Horsey stuck down there. Oh, there's all, all sorts of bad stuff down there. I'm not, I'm not going to go down there in a hurry. This is amazing. I absolutely love this saw. She gave me a new axe last episode. I haven't used it yet, and I don't think I am going to use it neither. This is quality. How are we looking? 99% still, so the saw's still doing fine. We've used, what, nearly a nearly 100 miller buckets of juice on that. We've got loads. Right, how does this work then? I think it works on like a, a 9x9 area. So if I was to find... I weren't anticipating this, you know. I should have maybe thought about this a bit better. Let's flatten the area a bit. There we go. That was nice and quick, wasn't it? Lovely little shovel there. Let's fill this in. Because this is a bit dangerous. I don't like it. Health and safety. Okay, so... We are back in my base because I've sorted out one of the farms and I just needed to grab some bits. Our new farmer wants some fertilizer, so I'm going to give her some bone meal. And she also wants, obviously, a tool. She needs a hoe. Yeah, a a two for now because I'll help her hoe it out. But the reason we came over here is because I was going to show you something. So while I was working around here, I noticed on the map that I was constantly surrounded by skeletons on there and I kept hearing them clinking away and it turns out so I ended up having a little dig around and I was trying to find where the sound was and lo and behold boom one skeleton dungeon and I've actually left the loot in here for now because I didn't have any any room on me but what I did notice is as well as the normal music discs we've got one here called dog which is apparently still by C418. And it says variant 16X. So it's one of the mods that adds this. Uh, and cat. <laughs> Would you believe it? So the cat is normally in Minecraft. I'm not sure about the dog one. Maybe in a future episode we'll have a look at getting that on the go. But let's go back up. Uh, so I've got my bone meal. We've got a tool for her. Was it Isabel? Was that her name? I've probably got it wrong. But let's zip back over. So what I'd done was I set out an area for her. And I did say that I believed it was the normal sort of 9x9. Nine nine. And when I say normal 9x9, nine nine, that's on, the, on the, uh, the understanding that when you put down water, it will hydrate four blocks away from it. But 
then it dawned on me that these are actually they cover a little bit more so if I click on this guy we can see here I've already popped a potato in it will only let me put one in I'm not sure why and then you can see here that I can pick how far out it goes so it goes up to five and I think the reason for that is because I wouldn't be able to have water here with him sat there so we've surrounded this in water and then if we go from the middle block we've got one two three four five and then we've got the edge where I've marked with these logs ah oh, that'll be where my missing logs went I'm a donut aren't I um and then obviously yeah the water itself will hydrate the four blocks out so let's go and mark that so one two three four and there's our edge so I'll I'll help her get this set up in a minute but for now let's go and say hi skip the chit chat let's give her a couple of hoes and I wonder if she'll make a start with that if not let's oh she is gonna okay let's go into the inventory let's drop off this bone meal as well and yeah she's cracking on look at that so let's quickly help her since I've got a nice diamond hoe and I can't give her this because she's obviously only level one Oh, and she's going to bed already. Well, that was a good start, wasn't it? A good first day. Right, I'll quickly do this. I'm going to get that one set up as well, and then hopefully she will come to work. So, yeah. See you in a sec. Right, so that's all set up now, and Isabel is back over, but I'm assuming... Yeah, I was just thinking, she's going to want some potatoes, isn't she? Of course she is. So let's come out of there. I've actually got... You're not building anything, Isabel. What are you chatting about? She should now go ahead and start planting them, I'm going to assume. I heard, I heard a little noise there. Oh, uh, yes, and there we go. So this seems to be uh, all set up now. If she's using this one, she's going to use that one. So that's a lot of, lot of area there. What have we got? One, two, three, four... Hold on, one, two, three, no, 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 no. We don't need to, we don't, we don't need to count. We've got 11 by 11, which if my maths serve me right, that's 121. Minus the nine in the middle, that's 112 blocks. So she's got enough, enough, <coughs> excuse me, words, things. She has got enough potatoes on her to completely fill this one and make a little bit of a start on there. So that's a good start, I reckon. Um, she's got a whole bunch of bone meal that I've dropped off and I can always get her more now that we've got the the old bone farm the skeleton farm set up well not set up we've got one though I can make a very rudimentary little water system in there and get that going so I think next on the agenda is to get the actual tavern set up hold up wait a minute ain't nobody got time for that Okay, so a very impromptu stop there. I'm actually going to uh, end the episode there. It's already hitting the half an hour point. I don't want to make the episode too long. And I've also got some bits to do this evening. So for me, it's this evening. I've got a little live stream coming up. For you guys, it would have been last night or the night before. Uh, hopefully, I saw you there. If not, then make sure to check out my live stream tonight. Yeah, it'll be tonight. I'm going to release this on the Friday. So tonight I will be live streaming again. So come and check that out. Link in the description below. But next episode, we will be carrying on with the tavern. That's actually already done. I've already got that sorted. And I will be adding some clips from the live stream, which should hopefully be with Omi and Beetle. We're going to hit the end again. But this time, we are not hitting it like noobs, or at least I'm not. I'm going to be fully geared up. I've already got the stuff together. I've got it already, and we're we're, we're gonna we're gonna hit it like a boss this time. So yeah, thanks for hanging around until the end, and until next time, take care, stay cool, bye bye.